Hey Kronos, what's up Moza? Take a look at Dan's fish. They have their own fish tank and all we have is a little shelf of our own. I mean we are marine creatures. We should have our own fish tank, right? I guess so. Let's go and talk to Dan about this. I'm not too happy. Hey Dan, what's up Moza? I'm actually kind of busy right now editing a dinosaur video. All you care are your dinosaurs? You know what? We need a fish tank and we need a bath. We okay. haven't bathed for like months. I mean if you guys want to stay in a fish tank and have a bath, I can definitely arrange Great. that. Great. Let's do it right now. Okay, Shall let's we? do it. Okay, let's do it. Okay guys, so as you can see, the prehistoric animals, they are not too happy because I haven't given them like a bar for like a couple of months so it's time for us to give them a nice and clean bar. I'm just gonna place all the prehistoric marine creatures into this tank of water huge one over here so after that we're gonna clean them up and we will have a look at all of this beautiful but yet grumpy marine reptiles and prehistoric sea creatures shall we okay guys so it's time for us to take all this prehistoric sea monster out from the water tank and as you guys can see, I have a fish tank right in front of us. I feel this fish tank is really small, but at the same time, it's pretty nice. So if you guys want me to make like a fish tank video, I think you can let me know in the comments. I will be super happy to do so. So the first one right over here, the leader of the pack, is named Moser. It's a Mosasaurus, okay? A genus of extinct Mosasaurus. And this guy right over here is known as the Lizard of Mills, okay? Lizard of Mills River. It can grow up to a length of 56 feet. That is super cool. And this model right over here was produced, I mean I got him from Reeker, adopted him from Reeker. A very grumpy fellow but he is a great leader of the pack. Okay, so we have a Mosasaurus right over here from Reeker. This is actually a pretty new one, 2015 model. Yep, gonna place him right over here and let's proceed to our next one. Let's take a look at this. Wow, we have a great white shark. Nope, this is not a great white shark. This is Lodon. Okay, his name is Lodon. He is a Megalodon. This guy over here can grow up to a length of 59 feet. So I'm not too sure how I'm going to keep him if he grows to that length. That will be super huge. So we have a Megalodon. This is a very, very strong and powerful predator. And this guy, I adopted him from PNS. Very nice. I love him. Take a look at all of this teeth. Oh, it's giving me a bite. Okay, okay. Take a look at all this teeth. Really, really, really awesome. You can see some nice battle scars over here. And yes, Megalodon. Pretty tough. This guy is pretty tough. You have to handle him with care as he can be pretty aggressive. And next, I'm going to introduce you guys to... Hmm... Dunkin, okay? He loves Dunkin Donuts. And this is a Dunkley Oasteus. This is a prehistoric placodum fish. And what is a placodum fish? A placodum fish basically means armored fish. As you guys can see, this portion over here 
its armor. Very, very tough and very powerful. So this um, prehistoric fish is actually a very, very slow but a very powerful swimmer. It can grow up to a length of about 20 feet. Very nice. And um, of course, I adopted this guy from Schleich, Germany. Okay, Dunkley Roasters. Very nice. Nice scales over here and nice armor. But do not put your hand, your finger into his mouth. Okay, these teeth are really powerful. Next, let's see. What else can we see? What is this? Oh my goodness. I'm not too sure the name of this. Is this like Chrono? I can't remember his name, I beg your pardon. I think this is another Chronosaurus. It's a short neck player saw. And this can grow up to a feet of about 30 to 34. Okay? It's known as the Lazard of Chronos. And this guy is from Boli Land. Very nice. Hand painted, okay? Very nice details with a movable jaw, I mean, obviously. Next, let's take a look at hmm, this big fella over here. And this is a, oh, this is actually a prehistoric alligator. And he's known as Dano Sucus. I call him Dano for short. It's a terrible crocodile. Can grow up to a length of about 35 feet. He's super long. Very nice details on this. I love him a lot, though he's pretty aggressive as well. And I adopted him from where's the place? Rico as well. Yep. Very nice. Do let me know which one is your favorite prehistoric animals. And by the way, those fish. At the background, they are tropical freshwater fish. Very nice. If you guys are interested to know more about them, do let me know in the comments. I might make another video on fish. And let's move on. Okay, what do we have over here? We have a Mosasaurus. And this guy was adopted from Collecte. Mosasaurus is known as the Lizard of Muse River, as mentioned um, in the, I mean previously, it can grow up to a length of 56 feet long, and this is the prehistoric marine reptile that actually grab Indominus Rex by the neck and pull it down into the water. By the way, do you guys think the Indominus Rex is still alive? I'm not too sure. You guys can let me know. So this is a pretty cool model from Collecte. I love this guy. And let's take a look at our next one. Oh, I have a super long-necked prehistoric creature. And what is this? This is known as a Lasmosaurus. It's a genus of plesiosaur. Very cool. Extremely long neck can grow up to a length of about 34 feet. Nice. And this guy over here is from Bully Land. Very, very nice. Okay. So this is known as the Thin Plate Lizard. Cool. You like this? And let's take a look at our next one. This huge one over here, and what is this? This is known as the King Lizard. It is actually not a lizard, it is a prehistoric male Basilosaurus. And this guy is from PNSO. This guy can grow up to a length of 49 to 59 feet, and that is really, really huge and incredible. I love this model. It has a movable jaw. The eyes are really small. The body is nicely detailed and nicely painted. And I love this long and elegant tail. Okay, so let's proceed to our next sea creature. 
and over here it's a little fella I call him Futaba and this is a Futabasaurus and I adopted this guy from what's the name of the brand let us take a look okay from Colorado Japan and this is known as the um, Futaba lizard I'm not too sure I can't remember the name of it if you guys know do let me know is a genus of Clesiosaur a very very nice model it can grow up to a length of about 30 feet so yep pretty long and large as well it has a super long neck which allows it to feed on other fish like this fish in the background easily this fish tank looks amazing I love it it gives this video some nice added um, colors so let us proceed to our next hmm, model and what do we have over here looks like we have another chronosaurus and this chronosaurus was adopted from Collecte. and chronos is of course known as the lizard of chronos okay amazing i love this it can grow up to a length of about 30 to 34 feet okay amazing let's proceed to our next one over here i actually have two of them so they are very very close siblings whereas the other one you find it they are identical i suspect they are actually twins okay so let's take a look at our next one and what is this? Oh, looks like we have another prehistoric crocodile. And this is known as a Sarko Sucus. I got this guy from Collecte. He's adorable. He's so small. But he can grow up to a length of about 36 feet. Okay, that is super long. And this is known as the Flash Crocodile. Very nice. I love the amazing skills. So as you guys can see, those crocodiles and alligators which you can find in zoos, they are actually like dinosaurs. Closest thing to dinosaurs, okay, in modern days. So if you take a look at those crocodiles and alligators, remember, dinosaurs once looked like alligators and crocodiles, okay? So we have a, um, adopted this guy from Collecte in 2009. Okay, very nice. So let's take a look at our next sea monster. Okay, and what is this? What is this? Okay. We have a tiger lizard. Just kidding. So this guy is called Tylo and he is a Tylosaurus. It's a genus of Mosasaur. Okay, and this guy can grow up to a length of about 20 feet. It, it is not very long if you compare it with uh, the rest, which can grow up to like 40 to 50 feet. So a Tylosaur is known as a protuberance lizard. Very nice, and uh, this guy I got him from Safari Limited. Pretty new addition to my um, collection. It's a 2017 adoption. Okay, so let's proceed to our next one. Hmm. We have two huge fellas over here. And this one, it's another big guy. This is another Chronosaurus, I suppose. Yep, Chronosaurus, and this is from Collecte. Let's open his mouth and have a look. Wow, take a look at those teeth. You do not want to put your fingers, I mean, your finger into the mouth and get caught. Oh, oh, that hurts. Let me out. Urgh. Naughty Chrono. Okay, so basically, Chronosaurus is a short neck pleosaur and it can grow up to about 34 feet. Pretty long, I would say, Lizard of Chronos. I love this guy, although he's pretty naughty. I love the paint, I love the spots. Brown Chronosaurus. So let us see what else is inside this tank. 
Uh, this is heavy. Okay. All these prehistoric marine creatures, they are smelling nice after this awesome bath. Okay, looks like we have a 3D puzzle. Put me back, put me back. Okay, so over here we have an Elasmosaurus. Um, Elasmosaurus, it's another, I mean, it's a genus of um, Plesiosaur. Pretty nice, this is actually a 3D puzzle which I uh, adopted from um, 3D puzzle. <laughs> I'm not too sure of the brand of this. So basically, uh, it's a thin plate lizard which can uh, grow up to a length of about 34 feet. Pretty awesome. Okay, this is actually very fun to play with. You can just assemble it and just remove it easily. Okay, the last one inside this tank or right, this box. Oh, actually, there are more. There's another Mosasaurus, a baby Mosasaurus from Colorata. As you guys already know, all the facts about Mosasaurus. Pretty nice, I love this guy. The paint tube is amazing. I love the color combination. And let's take a look at the last one. This huge one over here. It's another Chronosaurus. Looks like we have lots of lizard of Chronos. This guy is from. I got this guy from Miami. Safari Limited, a 2017 pet. Okay, so Chronosaurus, I love this. Awesome details on the tongue. Uh, no way, I'm not gonna let you bite me this time. Awesome details on the tongue and the teeth. Amazing. The straps looks good, I love it. Yep. So that's basically it. So let me know which one is your favorite. Is it the Dano Sukers? A huge guy over here. Or Mosasaurus? Or is it the Chronosaurus, which is your favorite marine monster? Okay, or is it a Tylosaurus? Or is it a big bad Megalodon? For me, well, this is tough. I love the Megalodon and I also love Mosasaurus. So these two are definitely my most favorite prehistoric sea animals. So let me know in the comments whether I should do fish tank video that would be pretty good but I'm not too sure whether I have enough fish to make a nice video for you guys okay so thanks for your amazing support and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share it leave me a comment you guys know I read every single one of them but I may take a day or two to reply to your comments basically I reply to every single comment okay so that's all for today and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video but before you go, check out these 4 other videos that I've handpicked for you guys. I'm pretty sure that you will like it. I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Goodbye!